Hello, dear students, and welcome to English for Palestine, Grade 12. Please move to Unit 5, Periods 4, 3 and 4, and to the language class. Objectives. By the end of this lesson, you are expected to 1. To differentiate between present and past participle adjectives. 2. To make sentences using both present and past participle adjectives. 3. To form correct present or past participle adjectives. And 4. To make new sentences by reducing the relative clauses provided. Let's start with this warming up activity. True or false? We have here four pictures. Pictures 1 and 2 are describing, here we have a cat or a dog and a, a boy. Let's read the first sentence. The dog is frightened. And number two, the dog is frightened. What do you think? Is the dog here frightened or frightening? So the answer is true. Here, the dog is frightened. Number two, the dog is frightened. Is it frightened here? Let's see the answer. No, it's false. It's not frightened. So, what can say about it here? Let's move to picture three. The dog is frightening. Is it correct? Yes, it's true. So, the dog here sends or receives the feeling. It sends the feeling. So, it's frightening. Here, in picture one, the dog received the feeling or it has the feeling. So, we describe it with the past participle form of the verb. And finally, so, picture number four. Let's read the sentence. The dog is frightening. So what do you think? I'm sure you got the answer. Here the dog. Yeah, it's not frightening. The dog is what? Can you tell me? It's frightened. Exactly. Let's move to this summary. What's the difference between adjectives that or which are made by the past participle form. You know, when we are talking about past, partici past participle forms, um, we have the regular um, past participles and the irregular past participles. Here, ED symbolizes the regular past participle forms and the irregulars have um, many endings. So here, it's just a sample. Now, what's the difference between adjectives that are made or formed by the ing and which are made using the past participle form? Let's see. <coughs> the past participle forms of adjectives describe a person's own feelings. They describe a person's own feelings. What do you feel? For example, bored, confused, interested, excited, surprised, etc. Let's see this example. This lesson is difficult. So what's the feeling that I have? I am confused. I feel this. I feel this state. I have this adjective. I feel it. So I am confused. Kate had nothing to do. So, she was very bored. Yeah, because she has nothing to do. She feels that this. Or she, she feels this. Now, the second group of adjectives, the ing form. It describes a situation, a thing, or a person that causes the feeling. For example, boring, confusing, interesting, exciting, and surprising. We have here uh, two examples. This lecture is very confusing. I don't understand. So the lecture causes this feeling. It's confusing. Two, 
The movie was so boring that Jim nearly fell asleep. So, the movie causes this feeling. Now, let's see this activity. Activity 1. Fill in the blanks with the ing or the past participle form of adjectives from the verbs given in brackets. Please take two minutes, read these three sentences, and try to decide whether the ing or the past participle form is the needed to fill in these blanks. Good job. Let's check up your answers. Start with sentence number one. Sammy was, we have to use the uh, form of annoy, when he missed the start of the film. What do you think? Sammy was annoying or annoyed? The right answer is Sammy was annoyed. He feels that. He doesn't cause it. He feels it. So, Sammy was annoyed. Number two. Trying to understand English grammar can be so frustrated. What do you think? Can be so frustrated or frustrating? Good job. So, can be frustrating. It causes the verb. Sentence number three. Ali's parents were we have to use this point by his exam results. Ali's parents were exactly disappointed. Yeah. Let's continue. Now, the second part of this activity. Fill in the blanks again with ing or past participle adjectives from the verbs given in brackets. Read 4, 5, and 6. Try to find the best or the suitable answers. You have two minutes. Good. Let's see your answers. Number four. Many people like the, we have freeze here, fish more than the fresh one. So, many people like the frozen. Yeah, they like the frozen fish more than the fresh one. Number five, the results of the game were, surprised we have to use it here, the best team didn't win. The results of the game were surprising. Yeah, surprising. And number six here, you need to send a right application with your CV. The best or the correct form of write is written. You need to send a written application with your CV. Yeah, activity number two. Choose the correct answer. Take two minutes, read these sentences, and circle the correct answer. Thank you. So, let's start with number one. Have you found the, the right answer? Let's see. One. Thinking that rubbish has no value is a idea, is a mistaking or mistaken. It's mistaken, yeah. Number two, his excuse for being late wasn't very one. Nobody really believed it. So, wasn't convincing or convinced. Great wasn't convincing one. Number three, she is a very person who always thinks of other people. And the answer is exactly. She is a very caring person who always thinks of other people. Continue now with four, five, and six. Please take two minutes and try to find the correct answers. Well done, guys. Now, let's continue and check up your answers. Number four. I was there at the time, but my friend was late. I was there at the 
Yeah, at the agreed time. Number five, we usually try to buy local products rather than ones. Importing or imported? Exactly, imported. Now, number six, he was taken to hospital because they thought he had a arm. Breaking or broken? Broken arm. Now let's move to activity three. Rewrite these sentences using reduced relative clauses. As you have studied, Reduced relative clauses, we have two types of reduced relative clauses. The active redu reduced relative clauses and the passive reduced relative clauses. Please, read these three sentences and try to rewrite them using the reduced relative clauses. Take two minutes. Thank you. Now, I'm sure you've done well. Let's start with number one. Anyone who finds my lost bag will get a reward. So, the answer is anyone finding my lost bag will get a reward. So, how do or what do we do when we rewrite such sentences? Please follow up here. Anyone who finds. We have here the relative pronoun. Okay. And it's followed by a simple present tense. When we rewrite it using the reduced relative clause, we start with the subject. We delete the relative pronoun. We put this verb in the infinitive form. Then we add the ing, so it becomes anyone finding my lost bag will get a reward. It's a or an active reduced relative close. Number two, let's see. The boys who were hurt in the accident were taken to hospital. The boys who were hurt in the accident were taken to hospital and the answer for this sentence is the boys hurt in the accident were taken to hospital exactly we delete the relative pronoun and the helping verb here where was, have, any helping verb that comes between the relative pronoun and the main verb, it is deleted. And we use the past participle form of the verb hurt. Why? Because it is a passive relative close. Sentence number three. Students who hope to study medicine need high marks in Taujihi? And the answer is, yeah, students hoping to study medicine need high marks in Taujihi. So, delete the relative pronoun and use the ing form of this verb, hope, hoping. Notice that. If the verb ends with E, we omit it and we add the ING at the end. Students hoping to study medicine need high marks in Toji. Now, take three minutes, read these sentences four, five, and six. Try to rewrite them using the reduced relative clauses. Please. Well done. Now, Let's ch let us check your answers. Sentence number four. Friendships, which are made online, are just as real as face-to-face -face ones. Friendships, which? Now, the answer is... Friendships, 
made online are just as real as face-to-face -face ones. So, relative pronoun, the auxiliary verb are deleted, and the past participle form of this verb is used here as an adjective. Friendships made online uh, are just as real as face-to-face -face ones. Number five, have you done it? Good, let's, let's see it here. Students who answered the questions correctly were very clever. Students answering the questions correctly were very clever. The same, we delete the relative pronoun and we use the ing form of this verb. Answer, answering. Why? Because it is an active. Here, the doer is known. Number six. Do you know the man who has a book in his hand? The answer is, great job. Do you know the man having a book in his hand? It's a question, okay? So, who here is deleted, has, it turned into the infinitive form of has, which is have, then we add the ing form. So, do you know the man having a book? Remember, two, first, put the verb in the infinitive form, then add the ing, when it is active, surely. Now, let's end this meeting with this task. Task number one, choose the correct adjective. One, two, three, four. Read them and try, try to choose the correct form. Is it the ing or the past participle form? Task two. Rewrite the sentences using reduced relative clauses. Please read number one, two, three, and rewrite them. Don't forget that we have the active reduced relative Closes and the passive reduced relative closes. That's all for today. See you next time. Have a nice day.